Hi, this is Pete, and this is my new album, Some of These Days and Some of Those Days. This is the kind of music that we were playing in Chicago when I was born. At the time, I was six years younger than Jerry Murad. But to tell you the truth, I didn't care. I didn't care about the music or Jerry. I was just a little kid. What could I know? In fact, nobody cared about anything because the world was under a depression. Time went on, and when I was five years old, I got my first harmonica. It was called the Marine Band, and my dad taught me to play two songs. One was called Yinky Dinky Parley Vu, and the other was Casey Jones. About that time, they started calling me Sonny. And they'd say, play your harmonica, Sonny. So I'd go into my two songs, and I brought the house down. I got pretty good on that harmonica, but there were a lot of songs I couldn't play because the notes weren't on the harmonica. And then, one day when I was 10 years old, Jerry Murad walked into my life. He had a harmonica with a button on the side, and I'd never seen anything like this. And he let me play it. And suddenly, all these notes I've been looking for, I could find just by pushing the button in. A new life was born. From that day on, I became Jerry Murad's best friend. Well, things got better with the economy. And pretty soon, I had my own chromatic. Jerry and I formed a little band with Al Fior and Bob Hadamick. We called ourselves the Harmonica Madcaps, and we played swing music. In those days, you could go to a music store and buy what was known as a stock arrangement, which was a copy of a big band hit. I could read music well enough to teach the other guys their parts, and pretty soon we had a whole repertoire. And then one day, the Boromenovich Harmonica Rascals appeared at a theater in Chicago. And right after the first show, we all went backstage to meet the guys. They treated us real nice because we were harmonica players. In fact, they asked us to play for them. So we went into one of our big band arrangements. Well, halfway through the arrangement, the door opened, and guess who walked in? Boromenovich himself. Well, right away we stopped playing, froze, I guess. And he said, play it again, play it again. So we started again from the top. And as we played, he walked back and forth listening to each individual player, like he did in the movies. He took down our names and numbers and all that stuff, and he was a little bit concerned about me because he wanted to know if I was old enough to go out on the road. I was 16 at the time, but I lied to him. I said, I'm 17. That's how old you had to be to go on the road. The next question was, what about your parents? Will they let you go? And I said, yeah. There was no trouble with my dad because he was a big fan. All I had to do now was wait for the call. And so I waited and waited and waited and waited. And just about the time I gave up on ever hearing from Boromenovich again, came a telegram saying, Can you meet me in Los Angeles? Sign Boromenovich. Well, as it turned out, Jerry Murad got a similar telegram. So off we went into the big time. I learned a lot from Boromenovich, like money isn't everything. The idea never caught on with Jerry Murad. In fact, one time he had an argument with Minovich about money. And Minovich said something that Jerry didn't like. He said, you're fired. And so Jerry went back to Chicago, started his own harmonica band, and called them the Harmonicats. The rest is history. Now, on to my album. I call it some of these days and some of those days because it took me almost 50 years to put this thing together. 
I had to wait a lot. I had to wait for somebody to invent a computer and somebody else to invent a keyboard. With those two tools, I could become a one-man band. I started with those tools in 1970 when I was up in Toronto. By the 1990s, I'd put together a whole bunch of tunes. Big band, little band, swing, classical, you name it. Enough to make an album. And this is the album. I hope you like it. Some of these days, and some of those days.